welcome students we are back with another lesson now in last class we have derived the velocity time relation in this relation we have derived the relation between the final velocity the initial velocity u and time so we have derived a relation between the velocity and time so suppose in the question if you are given initial velocity acceleration and time and they ask you to calculate the final velocity which is your v in that case you can use this relation now similarly in today's class we will derive our second kinematic equation now again consider a object which is moving along the positive x axis suppose at time t equals to 0 your position is at your object is at position x not and it is moving with a velocity u so u is our initial velocity now the object is moving 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 and let us suppose at later time t the position of the object is given by x and its final velocity is given by v so in this time interval 0 to t the object has covered this much distance so in this case this is the displacement covered by the object so in this case if i want to write down the average velocity of the object which is moving from this position x not to position x in time interval 0 to t and covering a displacement s then i can write by average velocity s average velocity equals to the total displacement by total time taken so i can write my v average s in this case what is the total displacement it is s and how much is the total time taken the total time taken from 0 to t second is t minus 0 which i can also write as t let's give this equation a number let us say this is my equation 1 fine now there is one more way to find out your average velocity which is the sum of initial velocity and final velocity divided by 2 will also give us the expression for your average velocity now if you look into our expression what is your initial velocity it is small u what is your final velocity it is small v so i can write my average velocity as initial velocity u plus the final velocity v upon 2 here this is your average velocity expression now in this expression i can substitute my velocity time relation where the final velocity can be written as the sum of your initial velocity u plus the product of the acceleration and time so if i substitute this relation here i can write v as u plus 80 on further simplification i can add this to u so it will be twice of u plus 80 divided by 2 fine now suppose in your numerator you are dividing the sum of two numbers by another number then what you can do is you can divide the individual numerator by the denominator clear yeah? like suppose in this case you have a plus b upon c so what you can do is first divide a by c then you divide b by c but note you have to write down the same sign here as well so using the same principle here i can write this one as first i divide the first term by the denominator 2u upon 2 then i divide the second term 80 by 2 here now here 2 and 2 can get cancelled so i'll be left with only u so my v average can be written as the sum of the initial velocity u plus half of 80 now my average velocity 
from my equation 1 was written as the displacement upon the time taken so I can use this equation 1 here so from equation 1 I can write s upon t equals to u plus half a t square fine now I can send this t here I can cross multiply t on the other side then I can write down u plus half a t a t multiplied by t now if I open the bracket first I'll multiply u and t then I will multiply half a t into t so if I multi open the bracket I will get my displacement s equals to u t plus half a t square fine so this is my displacement time relation so from this expression I can find out the displacement how much the object has moved if I know my initial velocity and the time interval for which the body is under motion fine so this is your displacement time relation okay so after this we have to derive one more expression which I'll do in my next class okay so that's it for today's class thank you and if you have any confusion please feel free to ask i will re-explain it to you again so again thank you